Holy Father, to speak in the name of the worship Christ. We will worship you for the rest of our lives. The rest of our lives. So long as you give us life, Holy Father, we will worship you. We will proclaim your name, Holy Father. For the end of the world. We will let them know, Holy Father. We will know. 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 Father, <laughs> We have a God His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is His name is Jesus. 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 His name God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Jacob, and Israel, is God. You will never never fail us, Lord. Oh, we trust you, Lord. We trust you, Lord. You will never fail us. Father, Lord, we ask for your mercy anyway that we have seen, O oh Lord, and come short of your glory. 
open up your mouth and ask for mercy through the words of your mouth, through the thoughts of your heart. Knowing and unknowing, consciously or consciously, intelligent or not intelligent, any way that you are coming to the soul of your mind, any way that are coming to the heart of your mind, open up your mouth and ask for mercy. I ask for mercy. I ask for mercy. I one Father, 
For the enemy has struck. Father, for the enemy has struck red, Father. Help us, oh, Father. We come for help. Release your angels, Father. Release your angels, the Lord of God. For the enemy has struck, Father. Lion of Judah. I am now a tribe of Judah. You are holy. Lion of Judah. I worship you. I am not the tribe of Judah. You are only lion of Judah. I worship you. I am not the tribe of Judah. You are holy. We say, Lion of Judah, I worship you. Lion of the tribe of Judah, Lion of the tribe of Judah, you are, you are holy, Lion of Judah, Lord, we worship you tonight. Lion, lion of the tribe of Judah. Lord, we worship you tonight. We give you all the praise. We give you all the thanks. Sir. Let us open our mouth and begin to thank God one more time. Begin to thank Him for all His goodness, all His mercy. You are alive today. It's not because of you. Let us thank the King of the Lord of Lords, the Holy One of Israel, the God that we believe. Only you are, only you are. There was no resistance. Lord, we worship you tonight. Lord, I'm at you. 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 I'm at Thank you. 
Jesus, you are so good. God of Jesus, set me free. Yes, sir. Sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus set me free. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus set me free from the camp of the enemy set me free the blood of Jesus set us free from the camp of the enemy set us free the blood of Jesus set you free. Oh, oh, man, set me free. From the blood of oh, Jesus, let your blood set me free. Let your blood separate me. Oh, my From the camp of the enemy. Let your blood separate me and my family. From every force of darkness. Jesus, Jesus, let your blood separate me. Come here from the hands of the wicked world. Jesus, let your blood separate me. I am innocent. I am innocent, Jesus. I am a sacrifice of God. I am a sacrifice of God. Let your blood separate my soul. Separate my soul. Jesus, your blood is powerful. Your blood is powerful. Your blood is powerful. I think your word says that the nature of your name is in the bow. Hear your blood touch that is eight days. Because it is a holy blood. It's a blood without sin. It is hot, it is crinkled. Jesus set me free, no fucking heart. The blood of Jesus. They have tied me, they have caught my soul. Jesus, set me free. Lose me, Jesus. Lose me and set me free. Lose the ball, Jesus. Lose the ball, set me free. Lose and die, Jesus. Lose him and set me free. Jesus, lose us and set us free. Lose us and set us free. Anywhere they have fallen on me. Jesus, lose us. Set us free. Jesus, set us free. Jesus, set us free. Set us free. 
the blood of Jesus set me free from the top of the enemies. Set my soul free. Set my husband free, Jesus. That the children you have blessed me with free from the camp of the enemy. You have set every ray member free from the camp of the enemy. Jesus set us free from the camp of the enemy. Jesus set me members free, oh Lord. Follow me like the days of Pentecost. Fire, follow me like the days of Pentecost. Fire, follow me. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, I have fallen. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, I have fallen. I have fallen. Like the days of Pentecost, I follow me. Holy Spirit, be my comforter. I am walking along the way, the way is so now. Holy Spirit, lead me, oh, I am running along this way, the way, oh, Holy Spirit, lead us, oh, lead us, oh, we are walking along the way. the Holy Spirit of the living God to lead you, oh man. You begin to ask the Holy Spirit of the living God to lead you towards this journey now. You begin to ask the Holy Spirit of the living God to direct your path. Uh. You begin to ask the Holy Spirit to hold you by the hand and lead you. You cannot run this race on your own. Uh. You cannot run this race on your own. Uh. We need the grace of God. Uh. You begin to ask God Almighty to give you the grace to run the race. Uh. You begin to ask him tonight to help you to run this race. Uh. This race is a difficult one. Uh. The road is dangerous. Uh. The road is so narrow. The road is fulfilled with things that you cannot come against. Uh. The road is narrow. The road is dangerous. Uh. The road is slippery. You begin to open your mouth tonight to ask God for help. Uh, ask him for help. Uh. He's the only one that can help you. I cannot help you. The pastor cannot help you. Your wife cannot help you. Your husband will not help you. Your co-workers will not help you. It's only the God of God, the Lord of Lord, the King of Kings that will help you. Open your mouth tonight and begin to ask God to help you to run the race. Uh. Lord God Almighty, tonight I pray, Lord Jesus. Uh. Lord Jesus, you will help us to run the race. Uh. You will help me to run the race. Uh. You will help my children to run the race. You will help men and women in Rastori and the government. Lord Jesus, you will help us to run the race. Help me to run the race, Lord Jesus. Help me to run the race. I need to run this race. I need to run the race and get to the finish point. Help me to run the race and get to the finish point. Help me to run this race and wear my crown. Help me to run this race and wear my crown. Help me to run this race. 
and we are the Akrana. Help my brethren to run this red and we are the Akrana. Help me, Lord God Almighty. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help me, Lord God Almighty. Help me to get up whenever I fall. Help my brethren to get up whenever they fall. Help us, Lord God Almighty. Take away the spirit of lukewarmness from Mosa. Take away the spirit of laziness from in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, Lord, help me to run this race. Uh, help me to run it, Lord God Almighty. Help me to run it with every spirit that I have. Help me to run it, Lord God Almighty. Help us to run the race. Help me to run it in the morning. Help me to run it in the afternoon. Help us to run it in the night. Uh, come storm, come rain. Uh, help me to run it. Uh, no matter the circumstances. Uh, help us to run the race. Uh, no matter the trial. Uh, help me to run the race. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, help us to run the race. Uh, no matter the condition we find ourselves. Uh, help us to run the race. Uh, we eat and we do not eat. The apostle run the race in the mighty name of Jesus. Help me to run the race looking back. Help me to run this race without looking back. Help my brethren to run the race without looking back. Help us to run the race. Help us to run the race in the mighty name of Jesus. Run the race, oh God Almighty. Father, Lord, we need your hand. The battle is over. I shall wear a crown. I shall wear a crown. I shall wear a crown. When this battle is over, will you wear a crown? I will wear a crown. Thank you, Jesus. When this battle, when these problems, when these trials, when this sickness, when this battle, when this battle is over, we will wear a crown. We will wear a crown. Do you have a crown? When this persecution, when this persecution is over, will you wear a crown? Will you wear a crown? You just begin to ask yourself that question. You begin to tap yourself. You ask yourself, do I have a crown? Will I wear a crown? Will you wear a crown? Do I have a crown? Do you have a crown? When this battle, when this trial, when the battle is over, do we have a crown? Let us begin to open our mouth this night to ask God to help us run the race to wear our crown. <laughs> Let us ask God that tonight to help us run that race to wear our crown. I don't know why my, my prayer point is changing. These are not the prayer point I came up to with tonight. Huh? Let us pray. The Holy Spirit of the living God is here. Huh? He's the one that will give us utterance to pray. And when he gives us the utterance to pray, we pray. Open your mouth this night and begin to thank God. That Lord God Almighty help me to run this race and wear my crown. Huh? It is not about going for evangelism. Huh? It is not about going to choir practice, uh, sweeping the church, mopping the church. Huh? It is not all a bad doubt. Will you wear a crown? Uh -huh. Will you wear a crown with that gate open for you to enter? With that gate open for me to enter? Open your mouth this night and begin to pray. Uh -huh. Open your mouth oh to help you to run the streets. Uh -huh. oh to reveal to you whatsoever we make you not to wear your crown. We make you not to wear your crown. Uh -huh. Ask him tonight to reveal you. Know you for him, he will show you greater mighty things that he know and that we make him out of what is that that we make me not go where my 
You are not rubbing cream on your face. You are not rubbing powder. You are not wearing ring at the end of the day. Will you wear a crown? I begin to ask yourself that question. Ask yourself that question. After all of this, I will I wear that yet? I need to ask you to depart from him. Will you wear that crown, Lord Jesus? Help me, Lord God of my God. Lord God of my God. Lord God of my God. Open my spiritual eyes of Lord of my God. Lord of my God. Lord of my Lord Jesus, don't what we make to wear my crown. Don't be only my vision. That is what we make to wear my crown. That is what we make to wear our crown. We need your visitation. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, reveal yourself. Reveal yourself to us in rapture at the end. Help us, Lord God Almighty. We need to hold on. Help us, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord Jesus. Help me, Lord God Almighty. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. You are going to pray tonight. Sometimes I'll be asking myself, I'll say, Me, that is always bind, I'll be cast, I'll be bind, I'll be casting. What about if I miss rap or I miss heaven? I get to hell. All the devils I'm binding, all this, they will bind me and bind me and bind me and bind me. They will cast me and cast me and cast me and cast me. All the binding I'm binding them here on earth, they will, continue, they will bind me, bind me, cast me, cast me, cast me. You are going to open your mouth tonight to pray. Anything that will make you go to hell. Anything that will make you go to hell. You might say, now nah, you are not a sinner. You don't see no. Sister Chanty can be saying her own. But for me, I know that I'm ready. Whenever rapture sound now, make it. It's, it's okay. Thank God for you. You open your mouth tonight. You thank God. What is that thing that is hidden? What is that thing that is hidden in my life that I do not even know that it's a sin? That when the rapture will sound, that thing will be the thing to back or when i die when i stand before you you will say that it is this is what you are supposed to do you, you do not do. depart from me you won't put your mouth tonight you begin to ask god don't even ask him for anything money don't ask him for child don't ask him for documents don't ask him for anything because those things are vanity he said we should seek him for the kingdom of god and every other thing will be added up to us your soul is not important my sister your soul is not important my brother you will open your mouth tonight you begin to ask the lord that please lord jesus is there anything in my life that will make me go that will make me go get rapture reveal it for me reveal it for me Open your mouth at me to reveal it to you. The Lord Jesus, and that you want it to reveal it, be it in your life. Open your mouth to make that answer. Lord Jesus, reveal it to Lord Almighty. Everything and anything that we have to do. Reveal it to me. 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 I 
Reveal it unto me. Reveal it unto me. Reveal it unto me. Reveal, Lord God Almighty. Reveal it to my brethren. Reveal it to us in Abdullah again. Let me I was watching I was watching something on Facebook. I don't want to mention mess- the name of the sister that was giving the revelation. She was saying she saw a sister in hell. And the reason why that sister went to hell, despite all her righteousness on earth, all her holy preaching on earth, all her holy dressing on earth, not making hair, not putting the cup, she ended up. I was just listening very carefully to, to hear why she missed her, um, heaven. The sister was saying that she missed heaven because she had a lot of sin in her heart. She has fought with a lot of people. She has done a lot of sin in the secret that nobody knew about. But because of pride, because of the way people were exalting her name, people were praising her, she was so carried away. She didn't want to go and apologize to people she has offended. She didn't want to confess anything she had done. But when she was on her time, it was when she started asking God. She was not asking God for mercy. She died and she went to hell. The sister was saying that God said the reason why she died and she went to hell was because she knew all this time that that sin is in her, that she knew to make restitution of all those sins. She did not. Then it was when she wanted to die, she started saying, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. That she knew already that those sins were sin. She did not repent of those sins. That that's why she died and went to hell. So tonight we are going to pray, my sister. Anything you know in your life, anything I know in my life, that you know that you know this sin is sin, or you don't know how to go and say it out, you don't know how to go about it. My sister, it is better you say it. people will laugh at you. It is better all those your friends that, that are following you because you say that you know, all of them will run away. It's better your husband run away. It's better your wife run away because of what you have to save your soul. On that day, you will stand alone. There's a song that said, uh, on that day, my father will stand my mother will stand all men shall stand before the throne of god your mother will not talk for you your other your husband you are following up and i will not talk for you now your, your wife you are following you are listening to what your wife is saying it's not what god is saying you are listening to what your husband is saying it's not what god is saying that day your husband will stand on his own your, even that your husband that is telling you do this do this do this do this that you are doing you you'll be surprised that the heaven gate will open your husband will enter you you want to open Every gate will not open for you. Or that day your wife, a uh, gate will open for your wife to enter. You, when your husband, you, the husband, you get that the gate will not open for you. You will open our mouth now. You have to save your soul. At this junction now, it's saving your soul, your own soul first, before any other person's soul. That's it that you know you have done. Maybe you didn't even remember again. You are going to pray tonight. Today, me, I'm not doing banding and casting today. This is how the Holy Spirit is leading me. Maybe later we can do banding and casting. You have to put your mouth and pray and say, God, please reveal it to me. Hello, sir. Hello. Finish up the prayer point, then I'll continue. I'll take over. Let us open our mouth to begin to pray as I've said. Let us open our mouth and ask God anything that we have done. Maybe when we are still in secondary school, in the primary school, we did it, we are forgotten, or the one we have done presently. Let us open our mouth and say, God, please give me the grace of the Give me the grace. Maybe I'm a witch now. Come. No, give me the grace of God. Give me the grace of things in my life, God Almighty. That will prevent me from making the laptop. Reveal the hidden things in my life. That will prevent me from making the laptop. 
Cast me not away. Cast me not away from your presence, O Lord. Take me not away, Holy Spirit, from me. Just, oh, plead, oh, plead the mercy of God, oh, ask the Lord to have mercy. 
I also am asking the Lord to have mercy on my soul, Lord. We still keep asking the Lord to show us his mercy, to show us his mercy. It's not by power, it's not by might, but it's by the grace of God. Uh, let the Lord show us the mercy, his mercy to run this race to the finish line. Let the Lord show us his mercy. It's not to start up a thing. It is to finish well that is very important. Uh, let the Lord show us his mercy. Let the Lord show us his mercy. After all these things that we have done, sometimes it's the higher you go, it's the more dangerous it's become. Day by day, the road keeps getting thicker and thicker and thicker. And I realize that the devil will not be folding his hands. Little, little foxes can destroy the vine. Let us begin to ask the Lord to have mercy on our soul as an individual, as not just, just like as a, as a ministry, as an individual. Let the mercy of God prevail in our life. There could be little, little things. It's not that somebody is fornicating. It's not that somebody is doing adultery. It's not that somebody is stealing, it's not that somebody is fighting, all those things are looking big. But little, 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 little things can take the fire away from our life. Little, little things, little, little things, little, little arrows that pierce into our heart. Little, little things. Just like today, I was complaining, I was telling somebody about what the spirit of depression can do in somebody's life. As little as that thing is, before you know it, it will drain the fire down. As little as that thing is, something like the spirit of disappointment, if it comes inside of your spirit, man, and it enters there and it penetrates, as little as that thing is, it can take away the fire inside of somebody's life. As little as all these things are and all the rest, pride and all the rest, unforgiving spirit and all the rest, let us begin to ask God to show us mercy, to show us mercy. Let his mercy prevail over judgment. Let his mercy prevail over judgment. This is the kind of prayer point also that doesn't make the devil happy because he knows that it will end up bringing people to the cross of Calvary. Let us ask the Lord to have mercy on our soul. Show us mercy. Show us mercy. Possibly why we have not had the answer to our prayer is because of their system hidden things. It's because of their system some certain things maybe in my own life that is not pleasing the Lord. And the Lord is saying, Chilos, you take away this thing, take away this thing, take away this thing. Come before my presence with a repentant heart. Don't feel that you have done it all and don't feel that you are okay spiritually. Come to me and tell me that you need me. Come to me and tell me that you want to repent. Come to me and tell me that all that you want is for me to cleanse you and purify you. Let us begin to ask the Lord to help us, to help us, to help us, to help you. Not to journey and journey and journey and at the end you miss your road. And at the end I miss my road. And at the end we miss our road. Uh, let the mercies of God take charge in our life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, let the mercy of God prevail. In the name of Jesus, Lord, show us mercy. Lord, show Show us mercy, Lord. Lord, show us mercy. Lord, show us mercy, Lord. Oh, Lord God Almighty, whatsoever it is that will blindfold our eyes, whatsoever it is that will take away your grace, whatsoever it is that will take away your spirit, oh, Lord, have mercy on my soul. Oh, Lord, have mercy on my soul. Oh, Lord, have mercy on my soul. My soul, David said, My soul longs for you. David said, My soul pants for you in a dry land. Oh Lord, have mercy on my soul. Have mercy and show me grace. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. In whom the Lord he put no guilt in Lord. Oh Lord, let your mercy prevail upon my life. Oh Lord, let your mercy prevail upon my soul. Oh Lord, let your mercy prevail upon my spirit. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, come and do your work. Uh. Oh Lord, have mercy on my life. Uh. Oh Lord, have mercy on my life. Uh. Oh Lord, show me your mercy. 
Oh, Lord, from the bottom of my heart, show me your mercy. Show me your mercy. Let your mercy prevail in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. I believe that the previous sister that was making the prayer point, she was praying those things as she was being led, as she was making those prayer points, you know. The thing, you know, is just like also my the chapter of my own life began to open and all the rest. If you get to a level as a Christian where you think that you are now all perfect, where you think that we are not like Jesus, but we are working to become like Jesus. If you get to that level, your own is finished. Your own is done. Your own is finished. In short, you are just like you are worse than somebody that has been caused. If you get to that level where in your Christian life you already have this notion that, oh no, now I don't sin against anybody. There are little things. That's why the Bible says it's not my righteousness. It's not your own righteousness. It's the righteousness of Jesus, which means that it's the righteousness of Jesus that is able to purify you and I. You can imagine something little, maybe something you were supposed to do, you didn't do and you think that it's all right you know but it offended the father and the father was looking down from heaven and he was saying no not this way not this way and the bible says nothing in view will ever see the kingdom of god there was a particular brother like that a man of god is popular you know you you everyone knows him you know and he said he just got to the gate of heaven and before you know it's when he got there the angels told him that he cannot enter into the kingdom what a great man of god on the surface of the earth you know so which means that all those things have nothing to do with saving somebody's soul. So right now, maybe anything that is there, that is working, maybe you, you now think that you are okay. Maybe because you're a worker here, yeah. maybe because you're a leader, maybe because you take care of things, and maybe because you preach also, and you now think that, ah, I'm okay, all is all right, all is well, everybody knows me and all the rest. Can you say right now, if God opens your heart, maybe there are no little foxes or things that have stayed in there or some certain things you know maybe sometimes you look at somebody and when you look at somebody immediately there is this hatred that comes in your heart and you are just as you don't just know why you just hate this person that thing alone is able to take me out of the kingdom of god let me show you it's just as little as that it could just be as little as you know you before when you hear a particular kind of statement and you hear it coming from the mouth of somebody all of a sudden there is this judgmental spirit that comes in your mind oh maybe look at her you know why can she be talking like this you know or maybe why is she making this kind of prayer point and all the rest and the father just looks at you and says ah my daughter why are you thinking like that before you know it he just puts a cross around your name and all the rest it could just be something as little as this you see it's not that you fight with anybody it's not that you beat anybody it could be something as little as maybe one kind of pride and inside your spirit and all the rest and the father is looking at you from heaven so many things and that's why the bible says come boldly before the throne of grace and obtain mercy in time of need so before we go into one day prayers and we begin to pray right now let's begin to tell the lord to wash our garment that's my garment tell him to soak it inside of the blood of jesus there is a pool of the blood of jesus i want him to take my garment there right now every stain in my garment is not when we are going to die or when we are about dying or maybe accidents want to hit us and i say god have mercy or something like that it just shows that it just shows me that maybe this person is not prepared because if the person is prepared the person will just say something like thank you jesus god i love you or something like Jesus, I love you, and all the rest. It's a sign of preparedness and all the rest. So let's tell the Lord to prepare us. My garment, every stain on it, uh, let the blood of Jesus take over her. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let your blood, 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 let Jesus, I see the blood of Jesus on my garment. Every stain in my own garment, Lord. Every stain in my own garment. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Don't pray for anybody. Don't pray for anybody. Don't pray for anybody. Pray for your own self. Your soul gets to heaven first. God desires your own soul gets to heaven. 
Before God has person you should get to heaven. So God is even with you, your own guest to heaven. Even if others are not going to heaven. But your own guest to heaven. You are the first. Then there is more others. Then after you get to heaven, then others can now be getting to heaven. So let's tell the Lord right now. Oh Lord, my own garment. Oh Lord, I is looking into the pool of the blood of Jesus. Oh Lord, I is looking into the pool. Oh Lord, I see the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus on my garment. Uh, every spot and every wrinkle in my garment. Uh, oh Lord, whatsoever it is, have your way. Uh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I bless the Lord. I bless the Lord. I bless the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. You know, one prayer point. You know, let me just give you this prayer point. It's always been my prayer point. Since I I got to read a particular book, and since the time I realized that. Anybody can miss out of this kingdom if you are not careful or so. If, oh Lord, judge me before your coming. So that's what I always say, oh Lord, judge me before your coming. And whenever I make that prayer, I realize something. God reveals to me something that is wrong, you know. Either he tells me, Chino, say, why are you not doing this thing? I now ask myself, you know, every time he's always warning me of something. He's warning me of something. Then I realize that he's saving my soul from the pit. Maybe he does not want me to get there. And the same thing to you. So whenever you pray, say, oh Lord, Lord, judge me before your coming. Judge me before your coming. Then his judgment will now begin to start even before he comes. Then he will now begin to fish out some certain things. So right now, begin to pray right now. Tell the Lord, judge me before your coming. 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 Oh Lord God Almighty, not on that day, not on that day, not on that day. Before you do it now, oh Lord, we are taking away. We are taking away by surprise. Judge me before your coming. Uh. In the name of Jesus. 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 Uh. Oh Lord, judge me before your coming. Uh. Oh Lord, give me your grace. Uh. Oh Lord, I cannot make it on my own. Uh. I need your grace to see me through. I need your grace to help me, Lord. Uh. Judge me before your coming. Uh. Judge me before your coming. Uh. Take a mirror right now and judge me before for your coming, so that you know you can remove any sin that is not of you, and you can keep what you need, Lord. Uh, oh, Lord, so that I don't miss out. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, oh, Lord, show me your mercy, show me your mercy, show me your mercy, Lord. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, oh, Lord, my God, uh, oh, Lord. Oh my God, show me your mercy. Uh. In the name of Jesus, show me before you're coming. Uh. Show me before you're coming. Uh. Before you're coming. Uh. Show me before you're coming. Uh. In the name of Jesus. Uh. Oh Lord, come and help me, Lord. Uh. Come and help me, Lord. Lord of my dear. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh. Oh Lord, God of my dear. Come and help me. Lord, come and help me, Lord. Come and help me, Lord. Come and help me, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, let your grace be upon my life. Oh Lord, God Almighty, show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Let your glory fall, Jesus, let your glory fall, Jesus, let your glory fall.
not saying that Chidozi will not sin. And God is not saying that you will not sin. I hope you know that. If I say, Sister Pascaline, you're not going to sin all the days of your life. I'm deceiving you. If I say, Sister Titi, you're not going to sin all the days of your life. I'm deceiving you. Sometimes you will fall into sin because you'll be tempted. But what God is asking for is a repentant heart. I think that was the same thing God saw in Brother David's life. And that's what God has most times never seen in many people's life. The ability to want to repent from every unknown sin. That was one peculiar thing God saw in the life of Job also. Job will just repent, you know, maybe because of his children and he will burn offering and all the rest. And all the rest. So God is not asking of all those things. God is asking the ability to lie. And a repentant heart is a humble spirit. A humble spirit cannot be repentant. So you see, sometimes God even allows you to fall into a pit to help you to have a repentant heart and sometimes also to help you to have a humble spirit and sometimes to help you to have a contrite heart. So you can imagine, if all was perfect and there was no repentance there, you, will, you might not grow in even humility. So sometimes the pit also is to help us to rise up. It's very funny how sometimes a pit will help you to also rise up or something like that. These are some certain things I've understood, you know, as I began to walk with God and all the rest. So this is what God desires from me and all the rest. This is what God desires from you and all the rest. Uh, my, what I always cry for, you know, let me let us know one thing. If your desire is that you want to make heaven at last, you will make heaven. And if your desire is that you want to see Jesus at last, you will see Jesus. God is not uh, this kind of God that his desire is that you fall or something like that. That's not his desire. His desire is not that I will fall or something like that. His desire is that you and I will make it at last. And I, by the grace of God, will get there in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No power of darkness. Every 
every power that wants to stop us from getting into the place Jesus has kept for us, the Lord Jesus Christ will give us the grace to get there in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. There are many things. There are many distractions. When I talk about distractions, it's not that, um, you know, I'm not even talking about outward distraction and all the rest. This thing is inside. It's a thing of the inside spirit and all the rest. You know, it's a thing that, you know, somebody will wrong you. And the ability for you to just forgive the person and let go. That's another, that's another spiritual height where sometimes God has to help us with. You know, there are people that will be offending you. But the ability for you to say, sorry, you know, you might think it's easy. It's easy to preach about, oh, forgive them, forgive them. When somebody wrongs you, when somebody does you something that is bitter, that's when you know that it only takes the grace of God to truly forgive. It only takes the grace of God to truly live out somebody from your heart. Maybe there are still some of us here. There are still some persons, you know, that you are still so bitter with and all the rest. You cannot just, but anytime you just think about them, you are just like, ah, this person, this person, this brother, this sister, and all the rest. And you know, maybe you are praying and all the rest. It's the grace of God. God will give us the grace in the mighty name of Jesus. The kind of prayer points right now we want to pray is to scatter all these powers that want to make it or that want to make it a hindrance, that want to make the road very stubborn for us so that we will not pass through into the kingdom of God. Is to destroy all these wicked powers that have been planted a stubborn heart. You know, there is a way some people, their hearts are tied. He's been tied under the sea. He's been tied under the sea that there is nothing that you ever tell them that they would ever do to forgive this person or to release this person from their heart. It's a spirit. It's something. It's not them. It's not them. That, that's You see why spiritual warfare is good. You see why deliverance prayer is good because it's a spiritual power. That's why Ezekiel said, and, and give me a new spirit and give me a new heart because there are some people that their hearts are being tied with a hot iron, as if it's been put somewhere. I've read stories, you know, whereby it says that some people, you know, their heart is being tied and put somewhere. Except the Lord intervenes, you know, that stony heart will still be there. Right now, we want to pray to the Lord. Every wicked spirit of captivity, every wicked power that has captured any part of you and any part of me, and that has caged it in the covert, and that has caged it anywhere. Right now, wherever they gather, I said, begin to scatter their words, begin to scatter every wicked power that has caged any part of you in the kingdom of darkness, that has caged any part of you, that has taken any part of you and caged it. Uh. Oh Lord, right now, uh, begin to scatter all their powers, uh. any, any power that has caged anything that belongs to you. Uh. Oh Lord. Oh my God, I said, let them be I say let there be release. I say let there be release in my life, in the life of my brothers and sisters, in the life of the brethren. Lord, begin to have your way. Lord, begin to have your way. Lord, begin to have your way. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, begin to have your way. Lord, begin to have your way. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, begin to have your way. Another kind of arrow I believe that the devil wants to bring to us as children of God. Sometimes we might think, do you know that worrying also is, is a sin also? So which means that if I worry, 
over some certain things. Though we are human beings, you know, and sometimes it looks as if it's not natural. But, but Jesus warned us of this also. Worry, I've realized that some of all these little, little things, so these are the little, little things that even Satan checks out for and all the rest because sometimes he now knows that he cannot come with something big. He cannot come with something big like that to some of us. We will just escape it and all the rest. Worrying and all the rest and, you know, being perplexed and not believing that this thing that God has said will come to pass. It pains God so much. It pains God when he has assured you something in his word. And you now you don't believe in it. Unbelief is, is the spirit and is the power of sin. And something like, and when I don't believe in it, and God is like thinking, God, I, I, I spoke to Chidozi, you know, I spoke to Chidozi about this thing. Or oh, I spoke to that brother about this thing. Why is it that he does not believe? As little as that thing is, it is able to take even me to hell. It is able because the Bible said it rejoice in the Lord. He says, do not worry. Look at all these other things. I take care of them. What's more about you? And this is something that I understand that sometimes it's even in my own life also. You know, sometimes I worry about some certain things and possibly it could be that God has already done it, you know, but I'm, I'm worried, you know, I'm worried. And God is like, no, I don't want that to be in your life. I don't want you to worry and all the rest. I don't know. Would Jesus be worrying on some certain things? I think worry is because I don't believe in the power of God. I don't believe that God is too powerful. And that's why one thing I always try to do is I just try to look at the power of God and just try to look at how powerful he is so that I know that my problems are too little to the Lord God Almighty. So we want to pray over every spirit of worry in your life. Maybe worry because of your children, worry because of your husband, the rest. So most times these things will be in our heart. God expects us to pray, but God does not expect me. After maybe I have prayed over it, I now begin to ponder and ponder and ponder and ponder and ponder, and ponder about it and all the rest. That's why the Bible says, look at the bed of the air. I take care of them. Look at the bed of the air. I close them. Look at the bed of the air. I do this. What's more of you and what's more of me? The spirit of worry is not what God wants in my life and all the rest. As I'm saying all this prayer point, don't be thinking that I'm just talking to you. I'm talking to myself also because me too, I need grace. The same way you want to get to heaven. The same way you two are struggling every day. It's the same way me too, I'm struggling also. I want to get to that heaven. I want to, all of us, we are just struggling. So there's nothing like, you know, ah, this person has gotten there, this person has gotten there. All of us, we are all struggling together. It's only a fool that will just be, you know, pushing other people to heaven. Him too, he does not desire to enter heaven. That's, that's the spirit of a fool, you know, because that person does not have sense, you know. Everybody, that must be your desire. So right now, we will tell the Lord, every spirit of worry in my life, begin to take charge and give me the grace to overcome. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, Lord, uh, every wicked power, every spirit of worry and worry and worry, worry on the thing that you are a word of God. Oh Lord, it means I don't Take charge of Lord, take us to that take us to that height. Oh Lord, we can't we can't rest in it, Lord, and we can rest in it, Lord, because the Bible says in the Spirit, why I go and find strength in the Lord, and in the Spirit, and in the Spirit, every Jesus, every arrow of the Spirit of God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, Jesus, in the name of 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 Jesus, in the name of
every word Jesus. We give every word is in our heart. We give every word. Take it away. Take it away. Take it away. In the name of Jesus, every seed of worry in my life, my husband's life, and the children's life. Let the blood wash them away. Let the blood wash them away. Take away every word is in our lives. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every word is in our life, Jesus. Take it away. Take it away. Every arrows of worry, the enemy is trained to us. Reject it in the name of Jesus. Reject it in the name of Jesus. Me, oh Lord, not to worry, oh Lord, about anything. You won't say that you seek to speak. Go with it. Put my the children to seek your kingdom first, to God. Jesus, take away every worry is away from us. Every worry is worries of this life. Worries of this world is Jesus. Take those things away. No think of your coming. Think of how to live only. Think of how to live better. Think of how to miss the world that is about to all of us. No think of how to separate ourselves totally from this world. Jesus, help us. Jesus, help us. Just name of pray. Be silent. Let me sing a song for you. This song, it it rings in my head constantly because as I slept, I just got this song in the realm of the spirits. The song says, Faith in Jesus, faith in the Son of God, Jesus is coming so soon until I reach. My own, my own, faith in Jesus, faith in the Son of God, Jesus is coming so. song i just began to hear the song like that any song i hear in the realm of the spirit only two people it will glorify it will just be talking about jesus it will just be talking about god in the spiritual world when you don't be thinking that there will be plenty of uh, verses to a song it's just one line just one line everything is oh jesus be glorified it's just like that and all the rest what does it show me Without faith, it's impossible to please God. So, which means that many of us now, we can be dressing well. Thank God for that. I'm happy for that. That there is nobody in rapture already in time movement now that doesn't know about outward dressing. But another thing that the holiness ministry needs so much is faith in Jesus. We must have this faith in Jesus that Jesus is too powerful. We must have this faith in Jesus, not like when we see a demon who we'll begin to, uh, you know, they want to kill me now, they want to poison me now. Oh, my life. But you say you are a child of God, it pains God so much because it's paining God like, but, uh, but she has read my word that. I am always with her even in the time of trouble. So, lack of faith, lack of faith, lack of faith is another arrow of the devil against the holiness ministry. It's another arrow of the devil against the children of God. Lack of faith. Uh, but God spoke to you. God just spoke to you yesterday. And he told you, my daughter, I'll take care of that. That's your unbelieving us back. I will turn him back and I will bring him back to you. And before you know it, you, you, you have already lacked faith and all the rest. You are going to ask, is this possible? In short, you have even stopped praying. You have 
separate for yourself. Let me forget about it. That God cannot do this and all the rest. It pays God. Even lack of faith, it will take you to hell. Faith itself. When you don't have faith and trust in the word of God. When you don't have faith that you have a mighty father. That's why it's good just to look at the mightiness of God. Don't look at yourself. Look at yourself as being little and look at the power and the mightiness of God. Right now, tell the Lord, increase my faith in you. Increase my faith in you, O Lord. Uh, increase my faith. I want to have strong, blazing, or shaking and unmovable faith in you. So that when any arrow comes, so that when any problem comes, so that when every trial comes, I will be able to stand so stronger. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, oh Lord, increase my faith in you. Oh Lord, increase my faith in you. Increase my faith in you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, increase my faith in you, Lord. Oh Lord, increase my faith in you. I want to trust in Jesus. I want to trust in Jesus. I don't want to trust in anyone. I want to trust in Jesus. Let Jesus take care of my life. Oh Lord, have mercy on my soul. It is this I did not trust in you. Every spirit of mama in my life, every spirit of complaint in my life, take it away in the name of Jesus. Bring me to rest. Bring me to rest, Lord. Bring me to rest, Lord. Bring me to rest, Lord. No matter how your husband is you, no matter how happy your wife is, no matter how blessed your job is, I have faith in Jesus. We are praying and the Lord is doing, and the Lord is doing, and the Lord is doing. No matter the things that we are putting in God is fighting our battle with a very distant God. Jesus, no matter all the devil is trying to do, oh Lord, my God, fight my battle. Oh Lord, my God, come and take me now. Oh Lord, my God, 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 oh Lord, Oh Lord, my God, come on, give me of your peace, Oh Lord, you are Lord, you are 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 there are spiritual arrows. Are you hearing me? There are arrows. Don't just think. If the Lord opens your eye in the spiritual world, you will see a lot of arrows flying. I have seen this before now. You will see arrows flying. I was asking myself, what's this arrow? Some of them is arrow of pressure, arrow of this, arrow of that, arrow of that. Plenty of them in the side of God. My brothers and sisters, we are indeed in a battle. I know. Just even today. There are some certain things. There is some particular call I was making. I was talking to a particular person. What I was telling her, I just wanted her to understand and because I know those things are arrows. Those things are arrows of the devil. You will just be sending the arrow one by one. You will just be sending the arrow and before you know it, Satan knows once he, can, once he can keep your spirit down, once he can keep your spirit man down, he has succeeded a lot. He has succeeded a lot. He has, he has gone far. He understands. He knows the human. He knows how we think. Let me tell you, do you know he can stay up to 10 years to study you? He can stay up to one year to study you. He now knows your weak points. He now knows your strength. This is what I've been getting, you know, when I was just pondering. Now I'm getting to understand something. Chinozi, you must be able to understand your weakness. You must be able to understand your strengths. You must be able to know how to convert these two things and all the rest. And so that the devil does not get a hold of you. Because once the devil knows that this is your weak point, he will come in that area. And when he comes in that area, he knows that it is easy to strike. And when he strikes, like it's not that he will, you do one big sin. Forget about that, you know. If he can touch your mind, if he can affect your heart, if he can touch inside of you, he knows that he's going to get you for the rest of that day. He knows that he's going to get you for the rest of that year. And this is why many believers are for just something little as this. Little, 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 little. Before you know it, it increases. Before you know it, it turns to a mountain. Before you know it, it bulldozes that believer. Why right now we want to pray again? Every arrow that has been deposited in my life, 
Every arrow that has been deposited in your life, uh, what are you waiting for? We oh, are scattered by fire right now. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, every arrow, Lord, uh, that we have deposited, uproot it, uproot it, uproot it. Every arrow, uproot it, uproot it. Get away from my life. Get away from my life. Get away from my life. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am happy to call myself a child. to show you that devil is wicked let me show you because it, I, i'm sharing my own experience with you all of a sudden you just realize that you cannot get yourself anymore but you don't understand have you experienced that before you cannot get yourself you don't even know why you are sad you don't know why you are depressed. you don't know why you are worried you cannot get yourself sometimes you realize you just wake up and all of a sudden you have an imbalance inside of you sometimes have you realized sometimes you wake up with joy there is this joy that fills your heart and you are laughing and you are smiling when you wake up. That's the Holy Ghost. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. But there are some times when you wake up, 
it's like you are just having this feeling in your heart that something is wrong somewhere. There's just so much that comes. Your heart is now full. It's now heavy and all the rest. That's the arrow. That's how it works. Tell me, with that in your life, do you think you can do anything? If you get to the office, you cannot do anything. Even if you want to read your Bible, you just straight down because you are not yourself anymore. That's how the devil works. We are spirit being. Forget that we are clothed with this body. There's a spirit inside of me. There's a soul that I am being made of. Forget this body. This body will go away. What is more important is what is inside of me. That's what we rise before the presence of the Father. So the devil knows how to conjoin this. The devil knows how to manipulate this. The devil knows how to do this very much well. That's why the devil is the greatest, one of the biggest witchcraft so far. He knows how to do all those things. And that's why we are always praying that the Lord will take away this. If this can be taken away from your life, and I believe that as we have prayed that every of this arrow that the devil has put into your spirit, man, they will be destroyed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Listen to me. Everything is not. Sometimes we pray amiss. The Bible says why you do not receive is because you pray amiss. We are praying for the wrong or with the wrong prayer point, and we want to get the right answer. <laughs> it's impossible. Maybe many of you, what have been stopping you is this arrow that has been bulldozed in your heart. Have you seen somebody that an arrow is just being used and struck in his heart? In the spiritual world, that's how some people, there are arrows that are in their heart and they are walking. They are living, they are living on earth, but an arrow is piercing through their hearts. Satan knows that with this arrow, they will not get far. Satan knows that with this arrow, they will never have answers to prayer. Satan knows that with this arrow, nothing good will ever come their way. Satan knows with this arrow, the doors will not be opened upon their life. Uh, wherever you are right now, uh, because we have called on our Heavenly Father, because we have called on the King of all glory, uh, I say every arrow is scattered right now by fire. In the name of God. Amen. Every arrow sitting upon your life, every Amen. arrow sitting upon your family. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, sir. We every arrow you. sitting upon your desk. Every arrow used to stain your garments. Uh. Every arrow used to spoil your garments. Uh. Every arrow used to put holes in your garments. Uh. I say scatter my fire. I say scatter my fire. I say scatter my fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Cut fire. Cut fire. Cut fire. Kind of people. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus. The kind of believers, the kind of believers that need this kind of prayer is the holiness kind of believers, those that desire and they know they are sincerely following Jesus. Listen to me. The battle that the devil will bring to you is different from the battle the devil will bring to one worldly Christian that is out there doing what he wants to do. No, don't think that you both have the same battle. Don't think that you both have the same battle. See, let me tell you sometimes. Sometimes I'm afraid of some things. If it's not the grace of God. Sometimes I'm even asking myself, Lord, why is it that you have... I ask myself sometimes that question. Why is it that you have just chosen me to do some of these things? Why can't I be like a normal member in the church? My desire is not, um, you know, it's like, you know, to, to coordinate and all the rest. Why can't I just be like a normal member? Because I know that spiritually, when you are holding some kind of things, the Bible says that when it strikes the shepherd, the sheep will scatter. So there are a lot of arrows. They will just be coming. They will just be coming. You know why? So that the sheep will be able to scatter and all the rest. So there is greater battle to fight. The higher your calling, the higher the persecution. The higher your calling, the higher the warfare. The higher your calling, the higher your glory. The higher your calling, the higher the cross that you should carry. And that's what God. But you and I cannot do this. Another prayer point we will make right now is your vessel of grace. In heaven, there is what is called a vessel of grace. In this vessel of grace, some people vessel of grace is like a powdery substance. Some people vessel of grace is like a liquid substance. If your vessel of grace is filled to the brim, you will be walking in grace. You will not be walking in your own flesh. You will be walking by the grace of God. You will not be walking by struggle. You will be walking by the grace of God. In your Christian life, uh, you will not be walking
thing, you know, just to, you know, do things like that. It's just the grace of God that will cover you. Right now, we want to pray. Wherever your vessel of grace is, uh, let the Lord begin to feel my vessel of grace. Uh. Let the Lord begin to feel my vessel of grace. Uh. Thank you, the name of Jesus. Pray to the work of God. Uh. My vessel of grace. Pray to my vessel of grace. Jesus, feel my vessel of grace. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, feel my husband's vessel of grace. My husband's vessel of grace. Jesus, feel my vessel of grace. In the name of Jesus. Feel my vessel of grace. Jesus, feel my vessel of grace. Feel my vessel of grace. Feel the children's vessel of grace. Feel the vessel of grace. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Feel the vessel of grace. Feel the vessel of grace. Of grace, of grace, in the name of Jesus, Father, fill our vessel of grace, we will vessel of grace, we remember vessel of grace, every remember so long, fill the vessel of grace, fill the vessel of grace, in the name of Jesus, 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 and I feel a vessel of grace, fill a vessel. Of grace in the name of Jesus, 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 of grace, in the name of Jesus, 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 of grace, in the name of Jesus, 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 on that Thank cross. You. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. What will make the thief on that cross to make heaven? And what will make another great mighty man of God, like people call it on earth, to miss heaven? What will make a prostitute to just repent and get to heaven? Like in the story of Jonah, a particular beggar that does not know Jesus, just because he sold a tract, he took the tract and gave it to somebody. This man was much more greater than many great men of God in heaven. When he got to heaven, the multitude of angels that surrounded this man was too much. The glory was too much. His name is Angelo. What will make Angelo to make heaven and make some people to miss out? What will make some, you know, some people you see some beggars or some killers or some fighters and all the end they repent. You know, that's why the Bible says, and the kingdom of God is close to these ones. And you know, the Lord said, go and call the beggar, go and call the people from the streets. You know why? Because sometimes when you have amassed too much of wisdom, pride, one thing God will ever resist. One thing God will keep resisting. One thing God will never stop resisting is the spirit of pride. God prefers that man that is a beggar or that man that is a seller, that that man that is a preacher and that that man that is a traveler and that will not humble himself. What will make? There are so many things that we are seeing. You see that somebody gets to a particular height in Christendom. He says to himself, no, why can I come low? Why should I do this thing? Listen to me. There is a particular advice I got from somebody or through a particular revelation. The way a servant of God humbles himself is different from the way somebody that is not really anointed humbles himself. What it means is that much more is expected from you with the height that you have climbed, which means that God expects you to come low and come low and come low and come low than this other person, the beggar. How low does the beggar need to come? But think about it. How low do you, you that have stayed in Christianity for 20 years, for 30 years, for 5 years, for 10 years, you need to come more low and all the rest. You need to come more low and low and low and low. This is what God is expecting. You see, that's what grace can do. That's what grace can do. That's why we need the grace of God. It's the grace of God that will make somebody that you even feel that, oh, can this person enter the kingdom? That's what the Bible says. And many would think that these ones, these ones will not be able to enter. Oh, maybe they are Gentiles, like the Jews, we always think, and all the rest. And the Lord finds them worthy. And the Lord says that this one, you know why? When God sees a repentant heart, always mark that. What I'm going to do from today, and what I want you to do from today, the things that make you to get worried, take a book, write it down, and begin to mark it, and begin to pray over it, that I will overcome this thing. I will overcome this thing. Because I noticed that as Christians, and as pilgrims journeying to heaven, 
Many things will begin to cloud our mind. Many things will begin to cloud our mind. Many things will begin to come and all the rest. It's the work of the devil. It's the work of the devil, but we will win this battle. With Jesus on our side, we will win this battle. With Jesus on our side, we will be overcomers. With Jesus on our side, we will fight this battle till the end. With Jesus on our side, we are victorious. With Jesus on our side, we will prosper. With Jesus on our side, this grace will be multiplied over your life. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are right now, every power that is standing against your life, every bear that is standing against your life, every territorial spirit standing against your life, that witchcraft power that says you will not have rest, I release the fire of God upon them. In the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy by the spirit of the most high living God, every power that has kissed you, right now, wherever you have been kissed, I release you. I command you to scatter my fire. I command you to scatter my fire. I command you to scatter my fire. Every day, covering my face, every cutting will block in my ears. I command you to cast my fire. Let the fire of the Almighty God consume and destroy. Amen. Some people have not still understood. Whenever you hear and you see that I'm starting to prophesy, just mute your mic and all the rest, and it will distract me. I can't continue anymore. So whenever you just see that I start to go into your mic or something like that, you can be saying amen wherever you are. Only just one or two persons can unmute their mic. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So we'll tell the Lord right now, there are many things, there are many things that want to stand against your life and my life. There are many things that want to stand against your life and my life. And we must not take them for granted. We must not take them for granted. You see this race, this race is a war. This race that we are running is a war, whether you like it or not. Don't ever think that the devil will just leave you. He will touch anything that consigns you. He will touch anything that gives you joy. He will touch anything that makes you happy. He will touch anything that gives you peace. Most times you hear us praying, you know, for maybe people's job, people's business. And all. It's not because I'm praying because maybe I want them to have all the money in the world and all the rest. I'm praying because I know that it's a strategy from the kingdom of darkness to reduce and to take their joy and to do so many things and to make them to be very much, you know, confused. It's the spirit of confusion that the devil wants to set in their life. Uh, wherever you are right now, uh, I see the power of the Holy Ghost is intervening in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, wherever you are right now, every wicked power, every wicked power that has stood there, that arrow that is still moving over your life right now i eject it away from your heart in the mighty name of jesus christ that spirit of unforgiveness that spirit of unforgiveness why am i saying something you know like you know something like this person you had a past relationship you are not in a relationship with him anymore you had a past relationship with him in this relationship you are with him you have a lot of intimacy with this person this person left let me use the word it's like he just left you like like that and all the rest. Until now, your heart has not been stable. Anytime you think of him, you are just like, ah, God, ah, punish this person, you know, for what he has done to me. Wherever you are, every wicked arrow that is coming into your life like that, ah, I command you, get away from that life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ah. Every power, every power, every power. The Bible said, ah, whatsoever you bound here yeah, is bound in heaven. Whatsoever you lose this is loose here on earth. Uh, whatsoever we speak, the Bible said that uh, when ye shall speak, ye speak as an oracle of God. Uh, I speak by the authority of heaven. Uh, every wicked power touching your glory, every wicked power touching your family, wherever they are, listen to me, all those problems you think you are expressing in your family, you might think it's normal, but it's a wicked declaration. The devil does not want your happiness. The devil does not want your peace. Uh, the devil does not want your joy. Uh, I say wherever you are right now, scatter by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, the Bible says that uh, all those my enemies uh, that don't want me to reign over them, uh, bring them, let me slay them uh, right now. Uh, 
uh, every power that does not want you to reign over them. Listen to me, we are sons and daughters of God. Uh, you have been made king and priest in the kingdom of God. Uh, you have authority in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, the Bible said that. Uh, at the mention of the name of Jesus, uh, the Bible will not lie unless Jesus is lying. And I know Jesus will not lie. I know Jesus will not lie. I know Jesus will not lie. Jesus can never lie. Jesus has never lied. Uh, the Bible said at the mention, uh, at the mention, uh, at the mention, uh, at the mention of that name called Jesus. Uh, let every new begin to bow in your life. Let every new begin to bow in your life. Let every new begin to bow in your life. I see your neck, your neck, touch that your neck. That's your neck you have been moving like. Like this the pain is getting so much excruciating right now i see you there right now i see you there i see you there right now you wicked spirit of pain around that neck get away from that place in the mighty name of jesus christ lord god almighty right now who am i seeing something there in the realm of the spirit uh, every wicked occultic power they told you they told you they told you they will call you back from home uh, that there is one occultic power there's one occultic stronghold in your house so that is disturbing you people over there right now. I stand as the servant of the Lord. Uh, wherever you are right now, uh, every wicked, stubborn spirit that doesn't want you to let go, uh, let the fire of Jesus set them ablaze. Let the fire of Jesus set them ablaze. Uh, let the fire of Jesus set them ablaze. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I move into the realm of the spirit. I travel right now. Uh, wherever you are, wherever you are, in that house, uh, you have a particular dream. I mean, this dream, uh, something just appeared to you. Something appeared to you like masquerade chasing you. Masquerade. Why am I hearing something like masquerade? Why am I hearing something like masquerade? I and mean, it was chasing you. And you were beginning to ask yourself, what is this? Uh, that masquerade power is the power that is standing against your destiny. It's the power that is standing against your progress in life. Uh, they don't want to let you go. I say you are a liar. I say you are a liar. These are rapture men brethren uh, these are brethren going to heaven these are brethren desiring to be like jesus uh, right now the fire of god set them ablaze in the mighty name of jesus christ just that little thing little thing you told your husband like this before you know it it has talked a big problem in your family it has not a big problem why is that both of you cannot agree he doesn't even listen to you it's just as if your word has it has just little thing you suggested it to him you suggested it to him just like that uh, every arrow of the enemy set into your marital life i I say, get away from that place right now, you wicked spirit. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now, Lord, you are setting somebody's spirit on fire. You are setting somebody's spirit on fire. Why, why am I seeing something like guilt? Uh, you are having a guilt. A guilt of the past is plaguing you. It's eating you. It's destroying you. It's destroying wherever you are. The peace of Jesus comes upon your life. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Lord, begin to have your way. Lord, begin to have your way. Lord, begin to have your way. That chain on your neck. That chain on your neck. I see a chain there. That chain on your neck. I tear it apart. Get away from that place right now, you wicked spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, begin to do your work there. Lord, begin to do your work. Oh Lord, begin to do your work. Oh Lord, begin to do your work. I see somebody there and you were walking by. Somebody insulted you. Somebody said something to you. It's like the person reminded you of your problem. You went back and you began to cry. The Lord will visit you. The Lord will visit you. The Lord will visit you. The Lord will visit you, visit you wherever you are. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, begin to have you. Way. Lord, begin to have you. That's your bear. That's your bear. That has been negotiated in the kingdom of darkness. I soak it inside of the pool of the blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, right now, uh, let everything that surrounds you, wherever you will sleep right now, it will receive deliverance. You will go to bed tonight. The Lord will open your eyes. Something mighty will take place in your life. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, begin to have your way. Lord, begin to have your way. Lord, begin to have your way. That's your brother that is in the hospital. That's your brother that is in the hospital. The angel of God, go for there and do your deliverance. In the mighty in the name of Jesus Christ, you are Rusuni me aite su sashini kara saya sumi hai. Angeli press sumi ami rasu sakali aluni ami ni ateto saini aini alshu shi arastemi hai. Lord, everything that is not of your glory, there, you wicked spirit, you want to hold him down. You want to hold him down. You want to hold him down. You a liar. You a liar. You are. 
fire. Get away from that place in the mighty name of Jesus. Something is happening there. Something is happening there. Something is happening there. There's a big battle in the realm of the spirit. Let it begin to fight on your behalf. Let the battle begin to take place on your behalf. Let it begin to take place on your behalf. You are a child of God. 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 Let the battle take place. Let the angels fight their battle for you. You are a child of God. Every wicked thing that they are using to cover you. That they are using to cover you. I say the pot is broken. I say the pot is broken. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, begin to have your way there. Lord, begin to have your way. 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 That money king gadget that is always standing around your wall. That money king gadget, something that looks, you know like a war gecko. It's always moving. And you have noticed it there. Wherever it is right now, I strike it down with the fire of God. I strike it down with the fire of God. Let no man monitor me. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You have been telling the Lord to say to you. You have been telling the Lord to say to you. You have done all you are supposed to do. You have even fasted and prayed. You have even fasted and prayed. I say it will come. I say it will come. I I see it will come. I see it will come. I see it will come. God cannot fly. Even the Lord spoke to you. That is what we surely come to pass. Why are you doubting the word of the Lord? Why are you doubting the word of the Lord? You know I am speaking to you there right now. I say wherever you are right now, let the spirit and the fire of faith come upon your spirit man. Right now. Right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now. The things that you never knew about. Uh, revelation spirit will enter inside of you. You will sleep at the Lord will reveal to you the things you know not about. The things you know not about. It was a covenant the Lord made with me. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. The things you know not about. Your heavenly father reveals to you. Your heavenly father shows you. It will take you to the next place. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, you are walking in a road. You are walking in a road. You are, why is it that you are seeing yourself? You have been seeing yourself. You are walking and uh, you are walking. You are walking in an unroad road uh, and you are walking there slowly. Every spirit of slowness in your life uh, that is not allowing things to fast forward I fast forward you on that track race go and do what God wants you to do in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Lord begin to have your way 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 one might see something there in the realm of the spirit uh, you know somebody there you are not married but you are something like a child, you are something like a child. This child you have is something like a daughter, and you know the person that did this to you or something like that. He doesn't want to take responsibility. When I mean take responsibility, he will not even send you anything you need to take care of that child. I say wherever you are. Now, the Holy Spirit will go before you, touch his heart, and before you know it, he will do what he's supposed to do. I'm not saying he will get married to you. I'm not saying that he will come and be with you. I'm saying that he will do what he's supposed to do to take care of that child. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, do not begin to have your way. Lord, begin to have your way. Lord, begin to have your way. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we glorify you. We worship you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the thanks. Thank you, Holy One of Israel. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord has already done this for you there. The Lord has done it 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 for you there. Right now, there's another prayer point we want to make. We want to make another prayer point and scatter every evil date. Every evil date that has been negotiated in the kingdom of darkness against your life. Every evil date of death. Every evil date of sickness. Every evil date of affliction that has been negotiated against your life, that has been negotiated against my life, uh, right now begin to scatter them. Let the fire of God come upon it. Uh. You are a child of God. You are a child. Always remember that. Whenever the devil tell you, tell him you are a child of God. You must not say, I'm a man of God. I'm a servant of God. You are a child of God. A child of God has power. A child of God is powerful. A child of God is a Christian. That's what it is to be called a child. This is the big 
title you can call yourself, a child of God, a child of the king, a child of the master, a child of the one that sits in heaven and sits upon his throne right now. Begin to talk to the Lord. Let me begin to take charge. In the mighty name, every data that has been written over your life, your family, your siblings, those around you, let me scatter by fire. Because of you, things will change. Because of you, the Lord is able to effect change. Because of you, the death will not take place. Because of you, the powers will just move away. They will say there is a child of God in this family. They will say there is a sword of the nation in this family. They will say there is a light of God in this family. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, begin to have your way. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I just feel joy in my heart right now. <laughs> verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Jehovah, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Worship Jesus. Jesus, you are good. Keleya, keleya, no bueze. Keleya, keleya, no bueze. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Jehovah, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Verily, verily, 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 you are good. Jehovah, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. You are good. Very, very, you are good. Very, very, you are good. 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 Jesus, you are good. Very, very, you are good. Very, very, you are good. Very, very, you are good. Worship Jesus. Very, very, you are good. Very, very, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Very, very, you are good. Very, very, you are good. Very, 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 Jesus is good. Jesus is good. Even in the darkness, Jesus is good. Even in the trouble, Jesus is good. Even in the trials, Jesus is good. Even in the arrows, Jesus is good. Even in the persecution, Jesus is good. Even in the waiting period, Jesus is good. Even in the storm, Jesus is good. Even in the crown, Jesus is good. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Jesus is good. And the mighty Jesus, and the mighty Jesus, and the left Jesus, powerful Jesus, mighty Jesus, glorious Jesus, beautiful Jesus, 
Thank you for everything you have for me, oh Lord. Thank you for my life. Thank you for everything you have for me, oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Blessed is your holy name. I shall confess and worship you, oh Lord. Hallowed be thy name, oh Lord. Father, hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy holy name. Hallowed be thy holy name. Glory be to your holy name, Jesus. Father, you are worthy, oh Lord. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, I'll just specifically take some prayer points and we'll pray. I know that there are some persons that wrote to me and I don't want to forget so quickly. And um, um, they said, you know, we should, um, like, they, they are going through some certain tough time and all the rest. So I just want us to pray for them. Can, can those persons, you know, that wrote to me, write to me, I, I, I don't know. I think um, Sister, that should be Sister Anita. You're there, right? Um, okay, I, I see you there. Okay. And um, and um, which other person is that? Uh, um, which other person is that? No, 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 you can't go. You know, you know yourself. No, you can't go. You know yourself. Okay. Um, We'll just pray. We'll just pray for her. And I know there is somebody here also. Okay, I know Sister Olushola. Yes, I remember now. Okay, um, Sister Olushola, can you type me a private message? Let me remember what that prayer point is. And uh, I think I said something like bring an oil there. Also, you have. Um, yes, sir. Okay, are you with the oil? Yes. Okay. Uh, once, once we are anointed, because um, something is going to happen. These things don't. They are not just ordinary oil. They turn into the blood, and they become effective in the spirit. So whenever the enemy sees it, he knows what is there. You know, though I've forgotten what that prayer point looks like. Okay, and for some persons that have some troubling issues, you know, we used to do this before, but because of time, you know. You can write me a private message and all the rest. And let's pray over it together. And let's see the mighty fire of Jesus. We have said Jesus is powerful. So is Jesus powerless? No, he's not powerless. The devil cannot be taking all the powers and all the glory. No, Jesus must receive all that glory because he deserves it. Because um, someone, there's someone was hit in the heart or something. Someone did against. Okay, I see that. Okay, um, we'll just pray. Um, for um, our sister here, yes, Sister Anita, um, even though I've almost forgotten the prayer point, um, but I think the Holy Spirit will help me here also. Um, we'll pray for her right now. I want the family of God to pray for her, then I will now make some, some final declarations for her right now. We'll pray, you know, that every power working against her life, I think I remember that, every power working against her life, every witchcraft power, I don't care, even if it is Satan that gathered himself, and I don't know what kingdom is that. Is there any kingdom much more powerful than Jesus? <laughs> Jesus himself is a principality. When they see Jesus, they bow. They call him the righteous man. They bow to him. Bezebo bows to him. Joseph bows to him. Satan bows to him. Even the queen of angels and all those wicked rubbish that we have up there, the queen of heaven and all those, they bow to Jesus because Jesus is too powerful. They think we have not seen any. They even acknowledge it. Even in their wickedness, they acknowledge the sovereignty of Jesus. Even in their wickedness, they acknowledge the authority and the power and the greatness of Jesus. The Lord will do it in the mighty name of Jesus. We'll pray for her right now. That every witchcraft power, I don't care where it's coming from. Is it from her? I will begin to release the 
word right now. And as we release that word, you know, the Bible said, let nothing trouble me. I bear the mark of Jesus Christ on my body. How dare they trouble you? Are you not a child of God? You know? And maybe if you have something like... Uh, I forgot if there is an inner problem or something like that. It might not even be an oil, something like a water. I just blessed it or something like that. Maybe you just drink it or something like that. Everything in your body that is not of the glory of God. Everything that has been implanted. I don't care where it is implanted. I don't care. But the Lord has given me enough faith to believe that his word is sure. And you know, we will pray together as a family and making it out. It's a public declaration already. Jesus will glorify himself. Right now, we pray for our sister Anita that every witch that power right now, let the fire of God begin to move in our household. Let the fire of God begin to move there. Let the fire of God begin to move there. I don't care wherever that country is. Let the fire of God begin to move there right now. Begin to pray for our beloved sister. Begin to pray for our beloved sister. Let the fire of God begin to set everything in place. Wherever everything that they have done, every spirit of backwardness, Lord, Lord, your daughter is there right now. Lord, your daughter is there. You will make yourself strong. Something will happen. <laughs> he touched me. Oh, he touched me. And oh, the joy that left my soul. Something happened. And now, I know. Touch me and made me whole. As your hand is on that, your forehead, put your hand down again. Be on the video, no problem. I, I want to be seeing you clearly. Put your hand down, put your hand again on your forehead. Put your hand down again. Put your hand again on your forehead. Heavenly Father, King of all glory, wherever your daughter is right now, every wicked thing, Lord, that is trying to take her backward, you wicked power, get away from her life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Lord, that wicked power, that wicked power, Lord, that has decreed, that, that has spoken negative against the life of your daughter and her household. Oh, Lord God Almighty. And they say, no problem, you can keep working too hard, but nothing good will come out of it. Oh, Lord God Almighty, the devil is a liar. Right now, you wicked power, we conquer you by the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, because Jesus is powerful. Jesus is powerful. That flaming sword of truth, uh, I use it to strike every power that stands against her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord God Almighty, the Bible says, why do the heathens rage? Why do they rage against the anointed of the Lord and his servants? Uh, the Bible says, touch not my anointed, do my prophet no harm. I say, wherever your daughter is right now, uh, I dispatch, I command the angel of God, I command the angel of God by the authority of Jesus Christ. Uh, I command the angel of God by the sovereignty of Jesus Christ. Uh, I command the angel of God uh, by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Go forth into our room and let something mighty begin to take place in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every wicked couple, wherever they are tied all those things in the spiritual realm, right now, Lord God Almighty, I say let them be scattered by fire. Let them be scattered by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Jesus Christ, Lord, let the wicked net 
parts of the wicked everyone yeah. in our life are. you wicked territorial spirit i see you there you want to stop this young lady you want to stop her from reaching up to her goal every wicked power that spirit that you know the name of that spirit is called the spirit of disappointment get away from that place right now in the name of jesus christ lord wherever she is right now begin to prove yourself strong glorify yourself lord oh lord we have told them that you are powerful that you are the most powerful god lord oh lord you glorify your name in the mighty name of jesus christ oh lord as i have this place in our forehead uh, right now uh, let the mark of jesus appear there. whenever they see her whenever they see her lord in the spirit realm, holy ghost begin to represent her in the mighty name of jesus uh, every power that want to consult her spirit every power that is chaining down her spirit man that is chaining down her progress that is chaining down the things that consign it her right now holy ghost will appear for you the holy ghost will appear for you in the name of jesus christ it is established in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh -uh. These prayer points are too much. Um, if I take everything, time will not permit me. Okay, let me first say the other sister that uh, we spoke about. Uh, we will still do a general prayer and I will make the final declaration. So we will get to all of us by the special grace of God. And why I'm just doing this, you know, we used to do this before for just um, a few persons and maybe because they are just joining, you know, of recent and all the rest. Okay. Um, uh, sister, dear sister, I, I, you're, you're with the oil there right now. Okay. Um, it will be blessed. There, wherever you take this to, something will begin to happen. I've, we have heard people that whenever they use this thing, I'm not touching it. And neither is my oil. It's you that bought the oil or something like that. But wherever they use it, something will begin to happen. Anytime there's a particular sister here, anytime she uses the oil that has been anointed, something happens. Anytime she just uses it and just uses it to rub on her body, something begins to happen in the spiritual realm. She says, brother, I begin to receive something like a deliverance. God begins to open my eye and all the rest. And I'm saying that's the power of Jesus. I'm saying that's the power of Jesus. There was a sister like that also in Holland. And now something was happening. Demons were crept in and all the rest. She said she wants to come down to Nigeria, you know, for deliverance. She has gone to some other places. I don't want to call it. But just by using the oil, mute your mic there, there is a noise there, please. Just by using the oil that was anointed. Somebody told her to go and sell her house or something like that. But she said, no, you are a child of God. Is it not the devil that should be running away from the child of God? Is it the child of God that will be running away from the devil? You have power. You are made of spirit. You are made of the spirit of the most high living God. You have great power inside of you. As you begin to use this thing, everything that troubles you, everything that troubles you, the Lord will begin to take charge. Lord, right now that's all. That's why the Bible said in James 5, he said, is there anyone sick among you? Let him reach out for the oil. Let him anoint it. And Lord, let him pray over it and give it to the elders. Uh, and the prayer of faith for the sick who is going to heal him. Lord, I stand by the power of your word. Right now, wherever your daughter is, I anoint that oil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, oh Lord, it's not just the oil. It's because of the <laughs> presence of the most high living God. It's not just the bottle. Oh Lord, God Almighty, it's the presence of Jesus that makes him more powerful. Lord, there's no other name, Lord. There's no other name. There's no other name right now. Oh Lord, right now, right now, by the authority of Jesus, angels of God, I command you, I dispatch you. Now go into our room and begin to do the spiritual surgery. In the Amen. mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I anoint this way. Whenever she uses it, however she uses it, in the places that troubles her, in the house, however she spreads it, Lord God Almighty, right now you begin to rot out a mighty deliverance in that life, Lord. In the mighty in the name Amen. of Jesus, let this be Amen. a source of a point of contact, Lord. Oh, Lord Amen. God Almighty, Lord, uh, let the power and the fire of the Lord Jesus begin to take charge. Uh, in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus, uh, oh, Lord, we do not use this. We do not use this 
this to represent your power. We do not use this to represent your glory. But as a point of contact, even like the Apostle Paul uses the handkerchief and all the rest, as a point of contact, we use this right now. Let the power of Jesus take charge. I am not that boy. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. When you use it, something will happen. No man, no power can trouble you. <laughs> no power can trouble you. Amen. They will know that you have a powerful Jesus. A Jesus that is so mighty and glorious. It will be so in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, all these prayer points are long. Um, hatred, something. Okay, I'll just read them, then I'll not take final declaration, then we'll call it a, a day. Um, I need prayer for my husband going to St. Louis surgery. Okay, I see that surgery. We'll call it um, someone suffering from circular and someone who is married. Um, please pray. I mean, I can't explain it. Everything. Moving something just happened. God bless you. My name is Patrick. Please help you for mother. Every demonic water. Okay, I see everything. Um, 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 reform. Uh, uh, um, okay, and somebody saying you lost your job. <laughs> okay, the job will be restored. <laughs> See, as long as Satan hand is involved, it's already a one battle. If it's something that Jesus is trying to pass you through a fire, or he's trying to teach you something, me, I cannot do anything. But as long as Satan, the hand of the devil, the devil puts his hand. He just put his hand on a child of God, a child of God, a child of God, not a child of the devil, a child of God. How dare you touch somebody's own child and all the rest? Don't worry, your, your job will be restored by the special grace of God. You know, Amen. don't worry, it will be restored. We'll pray about that. Somebody going for a surgery and all the rest. We'll pray about that. That is going to be safe, it's going to be it's going to be successful and you know, um, sexual, somebody with sexual sin, sexual sin or something like that, okay, you receive grace to overcome, we'll pray over that, and hatred in the heart of something someone did against someone, okay, we'll pray, we'll pray over that, and we'll pray over the name of Patrick, let me see there, Patrick that wants to, is it Patrick that wants to travel, then any prayer husband is going to uh, spinal cord, okay, he's going for spinal cord surgery on Friday, on Friday, um for that for that for for that sister during that during that Friday before he goes, just call me up or something like that. If I'm available, I will still find time also to pray with the family before he goes for the surgery. All the rest. So that person, you you know yourself, you know. Um okay. Heavenly Father, King of all glory, we thank you, Lord. All these prayer points, they have made it unto you, Lord. And they have made it believing that you can take charge, Lord. You do something. You do something mighty there. You do a miracle, Lord. Oh, Lord God Almighty, that we are children of God does not mean we do not enjoy the benefits of the kingdom. That's what is called the benefit, the benefit of being in the kingdom, the benefit of being a child of God, Lord, is that, Lord, that they get speedy answers to prayer. Because the Bible says the prayer of the righteous availeth much more. What does it mean? The prayer of the righteous does not avail it. The prayer of the righteous availeth. Then we are children of God. That's the benefit we have as being children of God. Lord God Almighty, right now, I decree, oh Lord, the Bible said, who is it that shall decree it, see, and it shall not come to pass. Lord God Almighty, you said, just make that declaration. You said, speak the word, and the word will be established, Lord. It's just the same way as it is written in the Bible. Oh, Lord, it's just like the Lord Jesus Christ speaking a word into their life, and it comes to pass, Lord. Then, Lord, I speak as an oracle of the living God, because the apostle Paul says, if a man should speak, let him speak as an oracle of the most high living God. Right now, Lord, Lord God Almighty, 
hatred in that life over your own life. Get away from that place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You spirit, you spirit of no job, any power that has taken your job. Right now, I speak the word restoration. If it is the work of the devil, I command it, be restored unto her right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Problem in the marriage, problem in the marriage, problem in the marriage, and you are not enjoying your marriage, and you have not been enjoying your marriage. No, Lord, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. That person didn't put this prayer point here, but I see, you know, you have not been enjoying that marriage. Wherever you are right now, only go take charge in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, right now, Lord, every spirit of shame over the life of David, get away from that place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every demonic order speaking against that family, Lord, let the fire of God consume them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, every wicked power, Lord, that is stealing away the divine health of her mother, of their siblings, Lord God Almighty. Why is it that everybody just falling at sick and falling sick all of a sudden? Wherever they are, Jesus heals you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, wherever your children are, Lord, oh Lord, those going through some tough times, some tough times, and you are experiencing a lot of financial lack. You hardly can even get the money to pay your bills, and your bills are piling up. You didn't say this year, but I know you are there. Wherever you are, you you wicked spirit of poverty, get away from that place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, wherever your children are, Lord, suffering from sexual sin, from masturbation, from all kinds of wicked sin, get away from that place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let it be established according to the word of God. Let it be established that your womb, all those things that are moving in your body right now, I command it. Get away from that place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that whole mess in your womb right now, right now, get away from that place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They just diagnosed you for cancer. You will not die. Listen to me. You did not write this prayer point here, but you will not die. You will live to declare the glory of God and you will live to be healthy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of cancer, get away from that place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, begin to take charge. 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 I see you, dear. How am I going to explain this right now? Weakness, 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 weakness. Your other partner has been experiencing that weakness. Now he has gone to the doctors and all the rest. It's not the work of the doctor. It's spiritual warfare. You are there listening to me. You did not put the prayer points here. You wicked spirit of weakness, get away from that place. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty, begin to do your work. Establish your work establish your work there. I see you there. You know, one of your sons, you have been so worried. You have been so worried of this, your son. In short, it has made you to weep. Why are you weeping? Why are you weeping, daughter of Zion? You wicked spirit that wants that young man you know, to never prosper wherever the tide is destiny. Get away from that place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Oh Lord, do it in the life of your children. Do it in the life of your children. Lord, for the problems that have not been called out, for the prayer points, Lord, oh Lord God Almighty, it is already done, Lord. Tonight, you open their eyes. Tonight, you do something mighty, Lord. Above all, Lord, renew our lives, Lord. Renew us again to know you. Renew us again to love you more. Renew us again, Lord, to that way of holiness, Lord. Renew us again, Lord God Almighty, as we pierce to get to heaven. Renew us again, Lord God Almighty, Lord. The time is 3.33. Jeremiah 3.33, Lord. Hear our prayers from heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, renew us, renew us, rekindle that fire, that burning fire that used to be in us. Uh. Oh, Lord, let it be rekindled. No worry. Joy, joy of the Lord, joy of the Lord. It's penetrates in your spirit, man. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord Amen. God Almighty, joy unspeakable, Lord. Reveal to us, judge us before your coming, Lord. We don't want to lose out of your kingdom. We don't want to fall apart. We don't want to end up 
in the blazing fire. We want to get to your kingdom. We want to look like Jesus. We want to be like Jesus. We want to walk like Jesus, Lord. Oh, Lord God Almighty, give us, Lord, this life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh, Lord God Almighty, is there anyone here and is walking towards another direction, far away from the narrow gate, and is in the broad way, and is in the broad way with a lot of millions of people, and they are falling into a pit, uh, oh Lord, but she's dressed well, but she's clothed well, but she thinks all is all right. Oh Lord God Almighty, little madness has taken her into that broad road. Lord, right now, bring it onto her, put her into the broad way, right now, right now, come out from that broad way and get into that other place where you are supposed to belong. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty, the power that wants to take your children out of that place. I want to steal the crown. The Bible says, uh, hold forth your crown. Lest any man take it away from you. Let he that be good be good. Let he be that the evil be evil. Lord, we will not miss our crown. We will not miss our crown. That's why we come to rapture in the end time movement. That's why we do the things we do. That's why we walk in your kingdom. That's why we are leaders in your kingdom. That's why we are workers. That's why we give in to your worker. That's why we establish all these things for your glory to come upon the earth. We pray for rapture ready and time movement. Your fire, your will will be established in the movement. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, occultic powers watching us from their wicked kingdom. That satellite, I break you right now. Get away from that place. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that wicked mirror they are using to watch our activity. And they want to use to stand against the mission bearer. Get away from that place. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command you with a blazing faith, uh, with an unshakable faith, uh, because it will be established by the word of the Lord. You wicked spirit, uh, standing against the vision of the work of God, uh, get away from that place. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the powers that are working so that they change the vision of the ministry, the powers that are working directly, but they are just waiting. They are just waiting, and they are just waiting how to do that. They are just waiting how to do that. They want to do it little by little, and all the rest. We are not ignorant of your devices. You wicked cabal. You wicked cabal that has been organized by the devil. Every meeting they hold against structure already a time movement. Let fire come down from heaven and destroy that meeting in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, whenever they have that meeting, the Son of Man will appear. He will say, do not touch him. He's my anointed one. Do not touch them. They are my anointed children. He shall be established and so in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you do your work. Lord, you do your work. We pray for other ministries, standing on the way of holiness, standing on the way of the cross, standing on the life of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, every power trying to touch Christianity, trying to touch your children, Lord. Oh, Lord God Almighty, get away from that place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now is the hour where they gather. If they gather over a child of God, every part of the world, Asia, Russia, wherever they are, that sick woman in a sick bed, about to give up. They want her to give up. Wherever you are, receive healing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I travel all over the globe. Wherever they are, trying to take the life of somebody. They want to take the life. They want to take the life. You are a liar and they are just gathering. They are just gathering. They want to suck the blood out of the life. They want to suck the blood. This is their time of operation. Right now, rapture and their time may scatter their work. Get away from that place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, every wicked spirit, she's sleeping on the bed. And you know what they are doing? They are pressing her down. They are pressing her down. They are pressing her down until they finish her off. They are consulting somebody's spirit right now. You are a liar. They will not know where the prayers came from. They will not know who did this for them. But they will glorify Jesus after all. Right now, you will get spirit. Get away from that place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, every wicked altar, they are penetrating into the church right now. They are penetrating and they are going into the pastor's house. And they are going into the general master's house. And they are going into the minister. That's the agenda of the devil. Right now, we see you there clearly tonight that you have decided to take that operation. We stop you by the fire of God. Get away from that place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, begin to have your way. Begin to have your way. Begin to have your way. Begin to have your way right now. Let something begin to happen all over the world. Deliverance is taking place. Deliverance is taking place. They want that man to give up that gold and so that they claim him. The demons are already standing. They want to get ready to take away that soul right now. 
I command you. You are a liar because it is not set up time. If a man, if there is a man to pray, there is a heavenly father, there is a God that answers prayer because God did not see anybody to pray. That's why they take the life of people anyhow. Right now, wherever that man is, you cannot give up that ghost. It is not your time. I command you. I command the angels of God. Oh yeah, go right now. Go and fight the battle. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. It's done. He has done it. Jehovah Jireh, he has done it. Alpha and Omega, he has done it. He has done it for you. Jehovah, he has done it. He has done it. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. He has done it for me. Jehovah, he has done it. He has done it. Alpha and Omega, he has done it. Alpha and Omega, he has done it. He has done it for you, Jehovah, he has done it. He has done it, Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. He has done it for you, Jesus, he has done it. He has done it. Amen, Omega, he has done it. Amen, Omega, he has done it. He has done it for you. God has already done it. So just be rest assured. Have faith. Have faith in Jesus. Put your faith in Jesus and just believe in him. So after prayers, don't panic. Don't say, oh Lord, where are you? And all the rest. Just believe in the Lord that he has done it. And his word be established in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Um, please let not go um, until we take the grace of God. Um, by the special grace of God, the crusade. I hope we must have seen the flyer. Um, uh, the crusade will start on Monday. When it starts on that Monday, we will not be having any Bible study and charismatic fire. We will just be having the crusade. The crusade is just so everybody will come down online and watch. I will let us know what we will do, but I will let us. I will write the steps of what we will do. As we are watching, you cannot just watch without sharing, and you cannot just watch, please, without inviting others. It's going to be more of prophetic, and will take the word. Let people see that Jesus Christ is still powerful, and let people see that you know that God has left a remnant on the surface of the earth that will still stand on the undiluted truth. So I think the theme of the crusade is. Um, it has to do with prophetic power and healing. Crusade. So it's going to be like for 14 days. We are going to be having Sunday service. We are going to be having our sister's fellowship service. We are going to be having our normal chapter or fellowship um, state meetings and all the rest. The only thing we will not have is Bible study and charismatic hour because it's going to be 7 p.m. all through the 14 days. We are going to have Sunday services also like normal, just only charismatic and, and Bible study we would not be having. So... You know, also don't do it without inviting your friends and let your friends know about them. Take the flyer. You can put it as your profile pictures and as your DP. Let people be informed. They don't need to travel anywhere. They don't need to travel to any state. They don't need to. All they just need to do is come to Facebook and enjoy what God has put on the earth, you know. And I believe that God will do it in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's also remember tomorrow is going to be our workers meeting. I want everybody to be there. We have a whole lot to discuss by the special grace of God. I'm going to leave up to Sister Pascaline. Please remember, we'll take the grace together. I'm here with you. We'll take the grace together. And also, we'll take the monthly declaration together by the special grace of God. We start as a family and we end as a family. I'll leave to Sister Pascaline to just um, take the announcement by the special grace of God. I don't know if she has done that. If she has not done that, there is no need. If she has done that, there is no need. If she has not done that, she can take the announcement, you know. And she can just make it briefly, you know. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 This is a non-denominational ministry instituted by the Lord Jesus Christ through a great burden to win more souls for the kingdom of God by populating heaven and depopulating hell. 
The movement is set to prepare the church for the rapture of the saints and the last day revival of souls. The ministry is a part of the vision of Anaile Chidoze after over 50 encounters with the Lord Jesus Christ, including the agony of hell, heaven, rapture, tribulation, the kingdom of darkness, and many more, and having a huge burden to set the earth on fire for Jesus as we fill the earth with a blazing fire of revival. The ministry hopes to scare the hunger of billions of souls all over the world to love Jesus with all their heart through a strong discipleship training, divine revelations from the Lord Jesus, the word of God, last day's revival, and many more. The movement tends to reach out to souls all over the world through undiluted holy messages and to let people see the power of the Holy Ghost as the Lord confirms his word with signs and wonders. Join us on Skype with REM member as we journey to heaven. We have fellowships in Germany, South Africa, Ghana, and spreading in other countries soonest. Um, we also have our uh, camp project that is going on right now in Nigeria. And the camp project, it is the children of God that will support that camp project. It is us, it is you and me, because we do not want um, polluted money from any other source except the pure money of the children of God that are working sincerely. We don't want to put the account number online. We don't want any donations from anywhere to come and pollute this solid foundation that God has started. And so therefore, we are the only ones to support this camp project. And so um, we can get the account details from Brother Godwin. He has the account information that we can donate into. And we also give our tithes and offerings into the ministry account. And once again, Brother Godwin can give us this information if we request it. If Brother Godwin is there, you can post the account information right now. But it is also available when he posts it on the Skype everywhere if you if you want it if you need it just contact brother godwin our ministry days are on um we have the night vigil on monday and friday at 1 a.m nigerian time bible study on wednesday 7 p.m charismatic hour on thursday 7 p.m children's program is on saturdays at 4 p.m discipleship class is on sundays at 12 p.m followed immediately by the Sunday worship service at 1 p.m. The men and women's fellowship is at 5 p.m. on Sundays. And uh, now the workers' meeting is on Tuesdays. Um, I believe it's 5 p.m. or so. Um, that is a new program now. So for the workers, take note. And also a notice will be sent out in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, let's just let's take um let's take the REM monthly declaration. Okay, um this is my month of divine blessings and grace. We can repeat. Uh, this, this, this is my month of divine blessings and grace. To walk like Jesus. To walk like Jesus. And to daily die to self. And daily and die to self. self. So help me God. So God. And the people of God is. Amen. Okay, let's take Amen. the grace. When we are taking the grace, just take it little by little, not rushing it or so. Okay. Mm -hmm. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. The, the love of God. The love of God. And the, and the true Jesus fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us forever. Amen. Surely, surely, the Lord will bless and mercy. All the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God bless you. I love you. Amen. God bless you. Good morning, everyone. Bye. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.